just decided I'd make a quick little video on how to update Gamma. If you're playing the new 0.9.1, you may have noticed there's been quite a few hot fixes and things. I myself would like to update it, so I figured might as well give a little tutorial on how to do it as well as how to not lose your settings and MCM settings as well as uh, toward the end of the video, I'll probably go through specific mods that I disable or enable uh, for my personal playthroughs. Anyway, let's get started. So you want to first go to where you have Gamma installed for me it's in my e drive in your gamma install folder you're gonna have a dot grox mod pack installer within there you'll have an exe for the gamma launcher this is the one that you use to install gamma in the first place it's useful to be in the gamma discord because it'll let you know if you need to have any of these specific checkboxes checked so if you haven't updated in a very long time just to be safe i would update with these settings i would only uncheck md5 i'd leave, leave everything else checked that's by default and then i would hit you click install let it download and you're good but before I do this, you want to find where anomaly is installed, your 1.5.1 anomaly, the, the, the anomaly install that Gamma is using. You have an app data folder in here. Within that, you have a user.ltx. This file right here holds all of your stalker anomaly, keybinds, graphic settings, everything like that. So if you've already got all that set up, you don't want to lose it. You want to drag this out, copy it to your desktop. I already had one, but there we go. I got a new one now. Um, you want to save this somewhere uh, just so you don't forget. After you update it, you'll drag this back in because this file will get replaced and it will default all of your anomaly settings. Now, if you want to save your MCM settings, you want to go into the mod organizer as if you're going to play the game. And down in the filter, you want to type in MCM m you'll see this this should be by default checked for you you'll see mcm values rename to keep personal changes that is literal like you want to literally right click this and rename it and you can name this to whatever i usually name it saved um, as you can see right here values saved this is how you keep a copy of all of your mod settings so within game you go to mcm settings and you change things in there maybe you change some of the mod keybinds some maybe you change some of the mod values and once you rename it you won't have two like i will you'll just have one and that's fine you rename it you're good so close it down and then it's time to update the game all right the update just got done uh so once you get to this point you should see up to date and up to date up here on your mod db and your gamma add-on status that's just a little confirmation letting you know that it's done it'll say installation complete uh, you can click play that'll open up the mod organizer and you can go ahead and just close that so once you get to this point you're going to have the default you know number of mods so currently right now uh 422 is is what they have now if you go and you type in mcm again see now yours is going to look should look just like this something like this it'll have the default one that says rename and it'll have the mcm values that you renamed whether you named it to saved or something different than what i have regardless what you want to do is uncheck the default one and check the one that you saved. And next time you update Gamma, you don't have to keep renaming this. Once you have this saved version of it, all you have to do is make sure it's enabled after each time you update, simply by typing in MCM and enabling it and disabling the old one. Last but not least, you wanna go back to where your anomaly is installed, the one that Gamma is using, and you wanna go back into your app data and find this user.ltx. Take the file that you saved before updating, drag it in there and uh, replace it, and then you will now keep all of your graphic settings and, and keybinds as well. So there you go, that, that will make sure that you do not lose really anything in the update process. It, it saves you a lot of time. The only thing that is not something you can save is the actual if you go in and uh, maybe you go into uh, the optional mods and maybe you change some of these maybe you want the mags redux and you, and you had that set you're gonna have to go back disable and enable the mods to your liking uh, and at this point i'm gonna go ahead and go through the ones that i personally use and don't use for for my playthrough first things first i always disable the yaks campfire saves because i typically just don't like the force campfire saves it, it, it's not for me so i always disable that that is all this mod does um, as well as that something that I all uh, always use um, I enable this new item highlight not something you have to have but it is helpful to highlight the items uh, once they go into your once you pick something up it'll be uh, highlighted in your inventory so you can see you know you might pick some up and be like wait what was that and then this lets you kind of spot it pretty quickly in the inventory because once you have a full inventory it can be pretty messy I'm gonna type in voice we're gonna go into audio and fixes I disable the Desmond Metzger voice actor as well as the gamma voice actor I don't know if this gamma one is necessary to disable but I'm pretty sure with uh, 0.9.1 you need to disable both of these if you don't want 
your character to say anything uh, when in combat or when your weapon jams or when something happens uh, oftentimes your character will blurt something profanity out and it's it's funny and sometimes it's it's like good timing and it, and it works but for me uh, with making videos on the game it can be a bit distracting because I, I do live commentary and all that so anyway if you want to turn it off that's how you do it uh, next up I'm gonna type in inspect there is a mod called gamma inspect on double tap F disabler by unchecking this you enable it but what this does is in game on most of the guns i'd say if you double tap f it will do a cool little inspection your guy will look at the gun you know whatever i like it i use it to get good thumbnails and things like that so if you want to be able to inspect your guns that is how you do that okay and then i think i only got one more this is a new mod that they added it's called fair fast travel it's more of an update from the previous version that they had in, in 0.9 i disable it entirely i simply just don't like any limitations on fast travel so this is something i always like to uh, disable also for making youtube videos it's kind of tricky if i can't fast travel because uh sometimes a video isn't that great if all it is is me running through through zone after zone. <laughs> So anyway, that is all the things that I do for the game. And, I, and we still got 418 mods. So they definitely added some new mods, uh, as we can see from here. So the uh, the ledge grabbing, some reanimations for the uh, couple of the guns here, F2000 and the MP7, as well as some new sounds for the controller. I hope that's not too terrifying. That is my least favorite mutant. And the hideout furniture, I, I realize is, is not actually, there's a bit of an issue with it. Um, so if you're watching this a week from now, roughly, uh, this should be fixed. You don't have to worry about it. But I think currently the uh, the hideout expansion furniture stuff does not actually get updated. You can install it uh, manually if you really, really want it now. In my playthrough currently, I don't think I'm going to be building a hideout just yet. So I probably got about a week before I'm ready for it. So that should work out pretty well. I'm just going to wait for them to get it taken care of and it'll be part of the next update. But I think that's going to do it. This is just an update video. I hope it helped you guys uh, kind of understand how to update the game easier and uh, save you the, uh, the time of having to redo all of your settings each each time you do update with that uh yeah hope it helped uh leave a like subscribe if you want to see check out my series uh, i've been playing some unisg currently it's pretty sick so uh if you want to see gamma 0.9.1 you can find it on my channel thanks for watching leave a like on the video and i will catch you in the next one